Joyce Harris, and I'm here at uh, Wolf Roast House in Brisbane, Australia. Uh, an unusual place for me because I'm a Kenyan coffee farmer. Uh, why am I here? Well, I'm here because Wolf Roasters, uh, through Cafe Imports, have bought some of my coffee, and I have been given the very fortunate uh, opportunity to be able to follow my coffee from origin to Roast House. I've had a wonderful week here in Australia, hosted by Peter and Penny Wolf, the owners of the Wolf Roast House. And I've been able to watch my coffee be roasted. I've had the opportunity to interact with people who drink uh, Wolf Roasters coffee, um, and that obviously includes my own coffee. And I've had the opportunity to actually understand a little bit about some of the work that goes into preparing roasting, but also actually barista work involved in making a cup of coffee. What I've learned is that uh, it is as complex at the beginning as it is at the end. This year, as I've mentioned, we supplied coffee to Wolf Roasters uh, through Cafe Imports, and we were able to provide Cafe Imports and Wolf Roasters a single varietal option processed three different ways. This was done on Chanya Estate, uh, our farm in Kenya, East Africa. And we are a family-owned and operated farm that has been operating on the same property since 1926. French Mission is one of the oldest varieties of coffee that you will find in East Africa. And the trees on Chania Estate uh, were planted some uh, before 1926 and some a little bit after. So we have very old trees that still operate, produce uh, very good coffee on the farm. And this heirloom variety we have been able to separate because we have 100 of 180 acres planted with French Mission. We harvest this entirely separately and put this through our factory entirely separately. We started many years ago with Cafe Imports offering a single varietal fully washed option. And with the support of Cafe Imports, we also then introduced a natural process. Over the last two years, we, two years, 18 months, we've been looking at processing in the honey process method. And this is still at early development mental stages, but between Wolf Roasters, Cafe Imports, and ourselves, we decided to have a go at this. And from a farmer's perspective, it's wonderful to have not just the green buyer, but also the roasters support to experiment and to look at innovation. Too often a grower might decide to experiment, but without the support of his market, this obviously can be a very big financial risk, and also a reputational one if the market doesn't understand what you're trying to do. Chania Estates option then, available at Wolf Roasters, involves a naturally processed coffee, a honey processed coffee, and a fully washed coffee, all of the same single varietal French machine.